Secretary of State Antony Blinken meeting with the Ukrainian president at the U.S. Embassy in Kiev as tensions escalate over the possibility of war. Blinken arrived in the country this morning after Russia moved more troops toward Ukraine. Russia has denied planning to invade the neighboring country, but U.S. officials believe Moscow could attack at any point. So let's be clear. Our view is this is an extremely dangerous situation. We're now at a stage where Russia could at any point launch an attack in Ukraine. Uh, and what Secretary Blinken is going to go do uh, is highlight very clearly there is a diplomatic path forward. It is the choice of President Putin and the Russians to make whether they are going to suffer severe economic consequences or not. Multiple talks with the U.S. and NATO have also failed to de-escalate the country's growing military force at the Ukrainian border. International correspondent Julia Chapman joining us live from Moscow. Julia, good morning. What is the latest on the state of tensions between Russia and Ukraine and troop movement? Well, things remain very difficult. There has been no de-escalation uh, by Russian troops since those talks uh, happened last week. Indeed, Ukrainian uh, military officials believe that Russia is nearing completion of its troop buildup on the Ukrainian border. That's on the uh, eastern side of Ukraine and in the south on annexed Crimea. And at the same time, Russia is holding joint military exercises in Belarus to Ukraine's north, very near the Ukrainian border as well. Uh, those were unplanned exercise. NATO says it had no warning of those drills and they believe that they are larger than uh, normal drills would be. So certainly the feeling is that Ukraine is surrounded uh, and there are serious fears that Russia is preparing to invade in the next month because military experts say that if it were to invade its neighbor, the best time to do it would be in January, February when the ground is still frozen uh, and it is more easy to roll tanks uh, across the border. So there are big fears that that is imminent. Russia denies any such plan, um, but it says it will not de-escalate tensions. It wants uh, the West to meet its security demands that it put forward last week. And to your point, following the winter is mud season in which those tanks would be essentially stuck. Uh, so U.S. Secretary of State Blinken visiting the Ukraine. How might that change the calculus here? Well, the idea is to put as much backing behind Ukraine as possible to show Russia that it does have partners uh, that would not stand by if Ukraine were invaded. There's been a really big diplomatic push. Uh, the German foreign minister was in Kiev on Monday and now Secretary Blinken is there as well, reiterating U.S. support uh, for the government in Kiev and warning Russia against any kind of military intervention. Uh, Secretary Blinken did say that it is possible uh, that Russia could be ready to move at any moment uh, and he has urged President Vladimir Putin to take the diplomatic and peaceful path um, but certainly there are still uh, many issues between Russia and the West that were not resolved in last week's talks um, and the feeling is that as much support needs to be offered to Ukraine as possible in an effort to try to get Russia to back down. So what do we expect the next few days? Well, after Ukraine, Secretary Blinken will then travel to Germany to meet with allies, including uh, French officials and British ones, as well as German ones. And that will all come ahead of his meeting on Friday in Geneva with Russian uh, Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. This is a meeting at a higher level than the Russia-U.S. talks that were held last week. The idea being to put some fresh impetus into these diplomatic negotiations as Russia uh, is warning against all of this support uh, that is being given to Ukraine. The Deputy Foreign Minister minister said today that that threatens Russia's security. Um, so certainly it is very important to get these two foreign ministers into the same room. Uh, this will be the last di big diplomatic push as Russia is waiting uh, for written responses to the security demands that it's put forward. Uh, the U.S. says those will be forthcoming by the end of the week. Julia Chapman live for us with the latest from Moscow. Thanks so much.